very very interesting perspective that you've given us on just the importance of mental training visualization seeing yourself winning seeing yourself competing and then giving your best effort so i think all of this transformation that has made you the player that you are i think a lot of people have to put in that effort necessary that whenever they are faced with any challenges and then they have to really go about in their mind they have to transform that into an opportunity because many people they allow their fear to consume them they 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 allow that fear to take over and when that happens you've basically lost the match you've uh, you've surrendered that chance mm-hmm. yeah uh, the main thing is like the mental part you feel much more important in in every prospect also in life also on court the similar thing like uh, the more you grow up the more competition you have like the more you compete you feel much more mental stress much more mentally you are giving 100% and you, uh, so there you have to train your mind very well i think mm. and for you to train your mind see it's not that easy like physical training is quite vis- visible like you can just work out build your muscle something but for mental training you have to face some problem you have to face some challenge mm-hmm. then you will get an opportunity to you know learn you have to you have to go through that mm-hmm. and your first thing i think is this positivity like in our world this positive things are really important i spoke to peter and i learned one thing like when you uh, when you are going to one tournament when you go uh, any tournament or when you uh, stay with someone try to stay with people those who have match or those who are winning if you stay with uh, people those who lost the matches lost the tournament then you feel sometimes that the negative vibe is coming hmm. so i felt also many times but yeah when i feel like yeah some negative vibe is coming in uh, when i'm in the tournament or something is coming then i used to avoid or i used to you know stay with myself because when you have anything to deliver most important thing is to stay positive when you have to perform you have to be positive you have to believe and without that there is no not possible i think to deliver really good mm-hmm. i think you have to believe and you have to be positive there is only one option mm-hmm. these things are compulsory and you have to be like this also when you are playing 9988 you have to think like that positive and things to control as much as possible like i can tell you one uh, tactical thing people uh, many times when they are making 99 they wanted to make long service as a surprise mm-hmm. and then wanted to block which is passive game i used to say we you we all used to say block is like passive but yeah few people they have fantastic block games but uh, in table tennis i think those who are champions those who have been really good in in this game they have been really attacker and they have been not not chopper but they have been attacker and when you were giving long or making a passive block then you were thinking negative i think you were rely on opponent then he will miss or she will miss so i think it's a better to think for yourself when it's 9988 do first you have to learn how how you won that eight or nine points in the game Eight, eight, nine, nine. Yeah. If I'm sure that he knows that hundred percent, I I'm going to do that. Then yeah, you can surprise him. For me, the young players should understand this kind of thing. Then, when they're playing with strong player, good player, better player, they they have experience. They have been uh, they have been trained. So when you have to beat them, you have to be you you have to be like very much precise. what what you are doing very much uh, aggressive with your tactic and you have to be positive then only you have a very high chance to win against better player i, I believe mm. 